So for part two of the energy system training, today we're going to talk about anaerobic lactic training. The training residuals for anaerobic lactic training is going to last about 14 to 22 days. So if I were to stop training lactically, I'd have about two to three week window where I would start to lose those effects. What most people are doing when they're training for circuit training or high interval training is actually in theory anaerobic lactic training. That's gonna, anaerobic lactic training is going to help with strength endurance and hypertrophy. Our goals for training, it should be for lactic power, that is our ability to maintain high outputs after our alactic properties have been used. So you know how we talked about in the anaerobic alactic where we are max effort for up to 15 seconds max. Here, this is gonna take over for that longer period of time. For lactic capacity, that's the body's ability to tolerate the buildup of metabolic byproducts. When training lactically, we have to understand the difference in intensities. 20 to 40 seconds of work should look and feel differently than that 10 to 15 second range of max intensity anaerobic A lactic. Some examples of anaerobic lactic training would be here, the first one, lactic power intervals. This is gonna be 20 to 40 seconds of work with about one to three minute rest. The second one here is gonna be a strongman circuit where we're working for about 30 to 90 seconds of sled pushes, tire flips, um, all kinds of farmer's walks, carries. We're gonna go stick to that one to three minute rest. And the last one we have is circuit training. Circuit training should be in the 15 to 40 seconds of work with about 10 to 30 seconds of rest and about six to 10 sets per exercise. So here we have a simple layout I like to use. I really feel strongly that some people recover differently than others. Um, some people are a lot, you know, depending on their, their conditioning, can take a little bit quicker to recover than others. So here I have a simple progression where week one, we'd be on a 15 second on, 30 second off, which is like a one to two work to rest ratio. The second one we have is week two is 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off, where it's a one to one ratio. Week three, we have a 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Now we're getting into a two to one where we're actually working more than where we're resting. And for week four, we have a 40 second on, 10 seconds off, which is four to one where we're really working a lot longer than we're resting. In closing, when training for condition, we wanna make sure what our goal is for each session that day. We don't wanna just train one property of just doing shorter duration, longer rest, which is the anaerobic phase. We always wanna make sure we do both, anaerobic and aerobic. 